Governor Abbott announced his new campaign, One Pill Kills, in Waco today to fight the national crisis on fentanyl. Fox 44's Earl Stoudemire explains what will happen in his plan and how local authorities will play a part. Pills like this are sold on the street in Texas every single day. Abbott came to Waco Tuesday afternoon to announce new actions to take fentanyl off our streets. The most significant, deadly, pernicious, illicit drug threat that I've ever seen. Abbott has issued an executive order to designate Mexican cartels as terrorist organizations. DPS will work with federal and local agencies to identify gangs that support cartels and will seize their assets to disrupt drug networks. Cartels need to understand if, if they are doing business in the state of Texas, uh, every dime that they're making, uh, every location that may be hidden, uh, we will uncover it, uh, we will root it out, uh, and we will seize it. In McLennan County, Sheriff Parnell McNamara says the problem is growing in Central Texas and is for stopping the influx. They're every day uh, with their drug dogs doing interdiction on the highway. We're running search warrants on uh, people that we believe, uh, we have reason to believe, uh, you know, are involved in the drug traffic or human trafficking. So we're never going to let up on them. Governor Abbott recently signed into law an increase on criminal penalties for making or distributing fentanyl. Today, he proposed a new law to classify fentanyl as a poisoning instead of an overdose. Because it is a poisoning, I want to make it a law to, that makes it murder for someone to knowingly provide fentanyl-laced drugs that lead to somebody's death. This will bump state jail felonies to first degree being federal. Abbott is also asking the Biden administration to designate Mexican cartels as terrorist organizations. In Waco, Earl Stoudemire, Fox 24 News.